air conditioning is only a suggestion at the Ultimate Gym on Queen City Drive in Charlotte. It's a gym for boxers and martial artists. On the floor are weights. Hanging from the ceiling are a variety of speed and heavy bags. On the wall are pictures of Muhammad Ali, Rocky Marciano and Bruce Lee. Comfortable is not what the gym is supposed to be. Christy Salter's Martin walks in and suddenly there's a breeze. I'm full of hot air, she says. I know what you're thinking, another boxing column? Well, yes. But if I don't write about it, who will? There are some cool local kids that fight on Charlotte boxing cards, and they get cheered as they walk to the ring. How often do any of us get cheered? I love this stuff, you might do. Martin, a Charlotte resident and the former women's lightweight champion, will promote a boxing card Saturday at center stage at Noda, her sixth in North Carolina and, she says, the best. The main event is compelling. It matches welterweights, 147 pounds, Jamal Gregory of Charlotte and Anthony Sunnier of Raleigh. Sunnier, 24, is 4-0 with two knockouts. Gregory, 23, is 3-1 with one knockout. Gregory took a risk in his second fight, taking on undefeated Marcel Rivers of Philadelphia in Philadelphia. Rivers won a unanimous decision. So, Gregory is undefeated in Charlotte. There's a lot of talking, Martin says as we stand against the Ultimate Gym's enormous 24 by 24 ring. People on that side of the state who know Sunnier think he's going to knock out Jamal, and people here that know Jamal think he'll knock Sunnier out in two or three rounds. There's a lot going on between the camps, and that's good for the promoters. Last weekend in Tampa, Charlotte resident Christy Salters Martin was inducted into the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. She received a standing ovation. Nobody else did. Julie Jacobs and AP other local fighters on the card include super welterweight, 154 pounds, Michael White of Charlotte, who will fight Brian Mullis of Mount Holly. Brian is a tough kid, straightforward, lots of action. Mike is the same, says Martin. Also featured will be another super welterweight, Cody Bullock, 2-0, of Asheville. He might be the most talented local fighter I've seen, says Martin. He's a boxer puncher, not really straight ahead boxing, moves, his feet, angles, not that one punch knockout artist. Does everything well. He's young, 21 years old, in his career. Doors open at 6 p.m. And the fights begin at 7. General admission is $35, VIP $100. You know Martin, 50. She lived in suburban Orlando before moving to Charlotte and taught at Vance High. She was the 3rd of July 49 as a boxer, but that's a little misleading, she was 4-5-1 in her last 10 fights. At one time, she won 20 straight. Last weekend in Tampa, she was inducted into the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. She received a standing ovation. Nobody else did. I spent so much time in Florida, I feel like that's home, says Martin, who is from West Virginia. For people in Florida to recognize my boxing career, my hard work, I appreciate it. Also inducted was Steve Frank, a super middleweight who was the 1st of April 17. Amy Schumer is in talks to play Martin in Christy Martin, a Voltage Pictures film about Martin's life. If she does, Frank, who like Martin boxed for Don King, will train the actress and comedian. He needs to show her how to throw that left hook, Martin says. More from this issue of the Tom Talks newsletter.